Hey guys, it's Joanne. Today I'm here with a new video for you. So for today's video, I really wanted to film an everyday makeup look for work. Um, this is kind of what I do every single day. It's pretty natural. I'm a graphic designer, junior designer at a branding agency in Newport Beach, California, and thought it'd be really helpful to those people out there that want to know what they can do for their makeup <laughs> at work. So that's basically it, I think, for this intro. I haven't done one of these in a while and I feel weird. So let's just get started. Okay guys, so first I'm starting off by using the Lorac Perfection, or is it Perfectional? Huh, I don't remember. But I'm using the primer so that my pores don't show. And then I'm going in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, which I've used literally forever. I'm obsessed with it and I don't think I'm ever going to change foundations. I tried the other time I went to Ulta and it just absolutely did not work out for me. Like I just put it back and got this one all over again. And once I've applied my foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and take this beauty blender and basically punch myself in the face a lot with this thing. Um, this is actually one of the first times that I used it, but I actually filmed this like a few weeks ago and I've been obsessed with it because I've been using this nonstop. Anyways, onto the video. I'm now putting the Maybelline concealer, I think it's like the dark eraser dark under circle one, and I am applying that all over my face also. And once I'm finished applying the concealer all over my face, I blend everything out so that I don't look like a crazy person. This CoverGirl translucent powder has been a thing since I basically started using makeup. I don't know if I'll ever change but it might just be that I'm a creature of habit. Anyways, I like to take this loose powder and put it all up in my face, like I'm doing here, and like I do with everything else. This palette though, it has been my life since my boyfriend got it for me about six months ago. It's amazing and the colors are beautiful and so pigmented. Anyways, I'm taking that lighter shade and throwing that on my crease and that's basically it. I'm doing that to the other eyeball too because you don't just want to do it to one. And then I'm taking the sh darker shade of that color and applying that just to the outside corner of my eye. It's just going to give my eye more dimension and honestly it just brings a lot more color and more shine to my eyes I feel. And just to intensify the look, I'm taking that dark brown color and barely touching my lid with it. I think it makes a difference. Maybe it doesn't, but I think it does. Anyway, I'm taking that red and throwing that all over my lid too. And taking that same darker red color, I'm going to be applying that like underneath my eyes. Uh, I don't really know a lot of terminology. I kind of just do things sometimes. Anyways, I'm going back to that translucent powder and I am blending everything out. Okay, this is going a lot faster than I imagined. But anyways, there's this gold shimmery shade in that palette that I'm using for my inner corners. It just, brighten it just brightens up my eyeballs and... Yeah, throwing that on my brow bone also. And then I'm taking this gold bronzy color and applying it right underneath. It makes your eyes pop, I swear. Now we're getting to the brows. First, before I do anything, I like to brush out my brows so that everything's nice and clean when I go straight into the product. I like to use the Anastasia Brow Pomade. Yes, that's exactly what it is. And it looks like I've almost finished it. But this actually takes 
forever to finish. It's pretty amazing. I think I've had it for about six and a half months now and I really haven't finished it yet. So pretty good. So something that makes it a lot easier for me to do my brows is kind of lining them. I first make a line on the bottom and then make a line at the top, connect the points, and then fill everything in. Literally just like a coloring book. It makes my life so much easier and yeah, I, I, it works for me. Hopefully it works for you if you want to try it out. Lately, I have been absolutely obsessed with this contour kit from Sephora. Um, this is also another gift that my boyfriend got for me one day when I was stressed and he just shoved it over. But anyways, it's so easy, it's so blendable, and I'm obsessed with it. And to get rid of any harsh lines, I always blend with my translucent powder from CoverGirl. It's so easy and it works pretty well, so that's what I do. And then I go in with my Tarte bronzer. I totally forgot the name, but I will leave it down in the description below. I, I wish I could remember. But anyways, I put that right above where I had just created my contour line and just blend it out with it. I also, okay, so I've, I've been obsessed with Tarte lately, which is why you've been seeing a lot of their products. But anyways, this blush is also amazing. It's so easy and so blendable and just really freaking free. And then I go straight into mascara. I used to do eyeliner a lot for work, but honestly, it takes too much time. And when I'm brushed, it turns into a bat wing, a crazy long bat wing. It's not very fun when that happens. But anyways, I've been obsessed with this lipstick also. It's called Burnt Spice. It's the liquid lip from MAC. It's beautiful, it's the perfect nude, and I love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you want to follow me on things like Instagram or Twitter, I will leave the links down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!